Hey guys, it's George and Ben here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Command Center, an AMD custom-built streaming PC that's powered by ASUS. Now, we're going to be going through what makes us the Command Center and why these components make it such a great streaming PC. So, I mean, for a streaming rig like this, what sort of motherboard do you want inside of? What sort of features do you need out of a motherboard for a streaming rig like this? So, with any streaming rig, um, you definitely want a high-end motherboard that can support as many things as you can throw at it. So something like this ROG Zenith Extreme, which has more than enough PCIe lanes to harbor your GPU, two GPUs if you want, your multiple NVMe SSD drives, your high-end CPU. Mm -hmm. It also comes included with a PCIe 10 gigabit NIC, which is perfect for anyone who's got a massive internal network where they're constantly uploading their own footage to storage drives and not keeping it locally on the PC. I mean, obviously, for a streaming PC, you're probably gonna be gaming, right? And for games, you need a good graphics card. Yeah. In here, we have got a Radeon 7 graphics card, brand that new is a from good AMD. Graphics card, yeah. I, not only does it look good in there, but it's also pretty high spec. It's got 16 gigabytes of HBM2 memory, which compared to past AMD cards and the competition, um, that, that's quite a big, bit of a jump. You're looking at eight to 11 gigabytes of eight. Uh, of, yeah, it's a, uh, quite a large amount more than most consumer cards on the market. Yeah, yeah, and, that, and that's really good for content creation and streaming. Um, I mean, particularly the content creation side of things, if you're looking at editing your own videos or doing any um, rendering for scenes, um, that, that can be really, really great for that sort of thing. Yeah, well, I mean, HBM2 over GDDR6 for just for straight encoding, there's almost no competition. Exactly. It does also come with a one-year XSplit subscription. I mean, that, that's really great, you know, because, I mean, um, I, really, your free alternative there is OBS, which is, which is a great program, but I feel like it's not quite so user-friendly for budding streamers. Yeah, well, I mean, with XSplit, you have everything from inbuilt macro support to inbuilt stream support um, and a whole bunch of other features. Yeah, exactly, and that, that's one-year free subscription with the Command Center PC. Tell me about the RAM. Oh, the RAM, man. That's the Triton Z RGB. Oh, yeah? In my opinion, some of the nicest... RGB RAM that you can get in terms of the aesthetics. Yeah. Um, right now it's red in the system there, but you can set it to any color you want, as with a lot of the other lighting in there. Okay. Um, and so why has it been chosen specifically for the command center? Oh, well, that one's because it's got a 3000 megahertz clock speed on it, um, mm -hmm. which works really well with the AMD's Infinity Fabric tech that it uses on their CPUs. And particularly so a nice server. high frequency, just a nice baseline to have for any type of AMD system, right? Yeah, exactly. And obviously 32 gigabytes in there with this kit. Um, which is really, really great when you're multitasking. Plenty of headroom for a massive stream. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, perfect. Because a lot of people streaming, Google Chrome, um, game, you've got all these programs open, you need that RAM to facilitate that. Yeah, I mean, you can probably open up like four tabs of Chrome with that. Yeah. <laughs> hey, ooh, four? Yeah, I'd stick to three just to be safe. I mean, obviously, we were saying that it, it works well with that Infinity Fabric memory, and that, that, that's brought to you there by the Threadripper. Look, we chose the Threadripper because consumer-grade CPUs just, they weren't enough. We, uh, we had a stream loaded up the other day with our Ryzen 7, and we were streaming to all of our available platforms, Facebook Live, YouTube, Twitch, and we just found the, uh, the, uh, the Ryzen 7 wasn't cutting it, so we decided to bump up to the... Ryzen Threadripper 2950X, which is actually where the need for the command center was born. We found that having a beast of a 16 core 32 thread CPU was able to onboard everything from our streams to all the web pages we had loaded, our Discord server, and obviously, of course, our game, and was able to handle all of that absolutely no sweat. And I mean, obviously, we've got all these great parts in here. We definitely wouldn't want a bottleneck. Uh, for the storage, and that's why we've got the WD Black NVMe SSD in the PC as well. Um, obviously, being an NVMe uh, M2 drive, that's going to be like crazy read and write speed. And that's really great for streaming, but also just for your game load times. It's one of those ones where like, if you're on the stream, right, you don't want you, your um, viewers to have to wait for your games to load in. So you have an SSD like this, you put your games on it, your games are loading, loading up super quick and uh, you can get right into the action and not have to stick around on loading screens for minutes at a time. So obviously we've just finished going through all of the components that go into making this such a great streaming PC, but what else do we have in the command center that makes it look so good and, and really just, just completes the package? The whole system is powered by the EVGA 850W G Plus uh, Gold PSU. 
Now, it's fully modular power supply, uh, black sleeved cables included. However, we are using our own Gamer Chief custom cables in the black, white, and gray to complete the command center PC. Tell me about this case. Everything on the outside, aesthetically, uh, so case, fans, lighting strips, it's all NZXT, and that's why, I, I mean, in my opinion, one of the reasons why it looks so good, because you really got that NZXT behind it. Well, thanks for watching our video on the Command Center Ryzen Streaming Custom Gaming PC. Yeah, guys, thank you very much. Take care. Um, and I'm pretty sure that we've got 16 gigabytes, 20, uh, we've got 32 gigabytes in there. Um, <laughs> 32. 32. We've got 32 in there. Confirmed.